Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be trying out Neverall on uh, Demon King. So we've got this normal sort of Demon King team. So of course we've got uh, Albedo, Freya uh, with uh, then Ashi and then Gamma or Neverall we have on a cooler. She has a 40% attack boost basically for unknowns because it's 10% per unknown. There is four of them. I don't have her relic but I'm going to use this team because I feel like it will be actually quite good. The attack boost will definitely help out Albedo quite a bit and will be quite useful. Yes, I'm not using... Uh, I forgot his name. God damn it. Boulder. Because Boulder's another taunt and I want a taunt because if not, then our sheet will get absolutely destroyed on the first phase. Of course, second team, standard sins team. Attack crit, HP defense, HP defense, HP defense. And this team is attack crit, non engraved. She doesn't have a relic either because you're going to get, well, one relic day one. I'm recording this day one. Uh, she's, her, her gear's not engraved so I'm not sure what gear to give her at the moment. Currently, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, HP defense. Attack crit, attack crit. Card set, once again, standard. 3% attack per unknown, so to our extra 12% attack, which means I get a 52% attack boost turn 1 with her and the card set combined. And then this one has the damage reduction for sins. That's really it. Let's get on with it. Here we go. Hopefully, I don't get the recovery skill uh, thing again. This is like my third attempt. I just, I literally, phase 1, I got recovery skill every single turn. And it was irritating. And I would know I would have counters after the first turn. But basically, this team is insane for boosting Albedo's attack. I've seen over 100k. 118,000 attack on Albedo. <laughs> Which is absurd. It's like 100k more than what she has. Of course, this team has like 20% basic stats, 30% basic stats. Uh, Albedo technically boosts her own basic stats. I'm fine with this, as long as I can get another debuff skill. I'll just play these. Play Albedo's counter mainly just for the tankiness, because this team isn't that tanky. So the problem is that, yeah, we have quite a bit of basic stats, but this first phase, like that, res I think it's resonance, just so much damage. And no Albedo debuff skill. Typical, 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 typical. 573k, first counter, not bad, not bad. We are being quite a bit attack lowered now. She's still critting, 677k. We evade this because Albedo has the uh, attack related stat buffs. And damages a lot. Okay, that's good. I took the shock damage as well, which is like nothing. I literally don't have two debuff characters. So... I'm just only going to play two, because if I play a third, I'll then disable someone, which I don't really want to do. Damage, not bad, but also missing a crit. Not bad. This is the healing one as well, so that's good. We got another Albert account, that's, that's definitely better than the last one already. The healing is also quite nice. If he does single target someone, they will get vaporized. She might just get vaporized here. Yeah, because this stupid effect. Who the hell thought giving a boss resonance was a smart idea? Um, I'm going to be attack disabled, but there's like nothing I can do. Um, I guess I can get Albert's ult. He's made even kill. I wouldn't even be able to kill her, because she is, like, built now. Well, that's a million level 1 skill. I'm attack disabled. Okay, so attack disabled applies when it's not my turn, which is kind of irritating. That's a good amount of damage. I don't think he can kill Abaddon. Yeah, no, nowhere near. <laughs> she just she just strapped a life steal back to full as well. Okay. Okay, we're no longer attack disabled, which is good. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Okay, we have that. So now we're actually going to switch back to this team. Well, I haven't used this team yet, but we're switching to this team. Go for the upgrade. Actually, no, I'm not going to use the upgrade. I'm just going to do this, this, and then this. So that means that I get a level 2 upgrade. And just in case I need a bunch of level 2s for next phase. Sorry, next uh, cycle. Okay, go with the rank up. Cool. Okay, got a lot of melee cards, that's nice. They're also going to rank up as well, which is nicer. Might to keep this uh, team untouched until I need to kill it. Because <laughs> melee can do quite a bit of damage with all the um, buffs. Especially on a team like this with uh, this Deanne. Vandalize Val Deanne is insane. There we go, now we should level 2s. So, 2, 2, and then 2. We'll also get the Noshi as well, as well, how nice. Stance removal. 240k is actually very good. 
from Freya with from a skill that has no effect apart from stance removal. Damage, not bad. Um, a three. I can get a three. Problem is, will I get removed? I kind of. I think I just push her ult. I feel like if I get her ult, I can deal with a lot of damage for free. 490k is actually pretty good for a level 1 skill. And without shock as well. I'll have to switch teams. Holy damn. Okay, I guess the Nashi dies. I, I feel like they really need to just change this boss. Like, they talk about having to make broken characters to make it so you can actually, like, I guess for newer players to farm this game mode, why don't you just make the game mode easier? Like, if it's a game where people need to farm, just make the damn thing easy. It doesn't need to be this difficult. To get... To have a chance of getting the crystals I want. Let me guarantee the crystals I want. This is just to get a chance of the crystals I want. Get the rank up as well. Get a bunch of level 2s and 3s, which is probably what we're going to need for next uh, turn, next cycle. Immortality should remove here. There we go. That's nice. Uh, I'm probably going to keep this team once again untouched. I want to see if Albedo can maybe even land the kill here. So we're losing a lot of basic stats now because, of course, Nanashi died. But this should make up for it because this is a 30% basic stat boost skill. Okay. That's not bad. She didn't crit, which is kind of sad. Okay. Albedo will not be killing. The HP boost is insane. Luckily enough, if you were using, like, the green newer L -A U R S at all, he would do a lot of damage to that. Now I get a level 2 Aldo counter, and now my team is dead. And now he's going to stance up. And it stance up, okay. Normally it stances up after it does that. 2-2-3. Two, two, About that. About that. I don't have any of them apart from... Wait, I can, actually, I, can, I can do this, I can do this. Uh, I can do this. But it's going to take it into the healing zone again. Yay! Whoever made the mechanics of like bosses need to, when you get them low enough, have insane amount of HP related stats, really needs to take a look in the mirror. It's kind of a stupid idea. Like, oh wow, it's got a million health. No, it doesn't. It's now got two million health because the HP doubles when you get it really low. Okay, it's doing no damage. To I forgot about this with the Sins team. Too much damage reduction. The thing is, I feel like Nobrel. She's going to be good, right? She'll be good for this. But the problem is... Is that you just need Albedo, to, you need Albedo counters. And if you don't get Albedo counters, you really can feel the difference. I was prepared for this this phase. And then Melee Shadow Realms it. This is the reason why I have Sins as a second team. I've got the Showcase team and then the Sins team. Unfortunately, like the, this boss is just stupidly unfair. Because I didn't have an Albedo counter. Until, of course, it was too late. <laughs> Paul Nanashi just got murdered because he's too old. I do feel like he needs an LR, even if the LR is like Margaret's LR, where the, the impact is so minimal, but the sub stat, you know, the sub stat boost, the general stat boost is good. That's all I really care about for Nanashi. I don't care about his skills. You know, maybe, maybe you can make him a little bit more selfish. You know, but that's it. O overall, Nebrol's not too bad. Like the attack boost turn one, if you can constantly keep being Albedo counters, it could make quite a difference. But I feel like I may want to give HP defense, but I'm still sitting on the fence. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.